we're going to go over a two-stage heating unit. Uh, first, I'd like to just go over some safeties and some switches that you have in the unit, and then we'll go over the sequence of operation. So here, you have two rollout, flame rollout sensors, and you have three burners right here. So if these burners are not working correctly up here, and we're getting flame rolling up, rolling out instead of into the unit in the proper manner these two sensors here will pick up and they'll shut down the whole unit these are normally closed switches if it heats up the switch opens up turns everything off we also have two pressure switches right here that are in our inducer area and this is going to give us certain pressures and these are normally open. They have to be open in order for this to work in a proper sequence because when these close, then it's permitting other things to happen. We have our inducer motor right here, and then we have our control board here. So the basic operation of this is when we call for heat, and since this is a two-stage gas valve here, when we call for heat, we're first going to our thermostat, and our thermostat must have two heating, heating um, spots to hook up to. You'll have heating one and heating two. So when one first turns on, and you turn on your heat, your furnace will come on. The first thing that'll happen, it'll check all your safeties, make sure that your safeties are all closed, if the safeties are all closed, the inducer draft floor motor will turn on. As this picks up speed, it will cause one of your pressure switches to close first, and that'll be your stage one. That'll turn on um, after, after a little bit, after your igniter lights, then, then your gas valve will open up. Stage one will turn on. When stage one turns on, we get a flame up here and it starts to warm up the area. If it continues to run and it's not enough to warm up, what happens is the second stage and your thermostat turns on. When the second stage turns on, the inducer motor increases speed and then it makes the second switch right here, goes to the gas valve and it puts out a little more gas. So we have a bigger flame, now you're running at full capacity. Once, once you're doing that and everything warms up in your house, then it'll turn, turn one stage off at a time. First, the second stage will turn off when it's getting close to temperature. And then when we are at temperature and everything's satisfied, stage two will turn off. The inducer draft blower motor will still stay running for a little bit to make sure all the bad fumes and everything are out before it shuts down completely. Um, as far as the fan goes, that's in blowing towards the house through your ductwork. On stage one, it'll, it'll run at a certain speed. When stage two turns on, it'll run at a little faster speed. And the same thing as, as the heat is being turned off, stage one, uh, two turns off, the blower motor will slow down. And then when it turns off, uh, stage one, when we're satisfied, the blower motor will still remain to cool off your ductwork.